been a strange day today. Strange weather. Snow, thunder, lightning. It's brightened up a bit now. And I saw Bobby Zamora today. That was a strange one as well. Not often I see sort of famous people, but I saw Bobby Zamora today. So not I don't know how many people can say that. That they've sort of been, well, a few feet away from Bobby Zamora. Not like in a stadium with them. But anyway, enough of that. Uh, Palmer from the Ashes continues today. I'm almost a Palmer John with them. That's not what this is, and it's a far cry from it. Um, but we've got two very tough games today. We've got Fiorentina at home and Verona away. Two very difficult games. Let's see if we can pick up some more points in a new episode of Palmer from the Ashes. So last episode didn't really go to plan. We lost 1-0 to Brescia. Didn't deserve to. I thought we played very, very well. But um, they got the goal four minutes from time. But since then, as you can see, haven't lost. And we had an, an, an incredible game against Cesena, which I will show you very shortly. But let's go through them all first of all. Starting off with the 1-0 win against Bari. So here it is. And look. First thing you'll notice is that Agnew got sent off. His first appearance in the um, in the season because he was suspended for the first game. And he got a red card. 46th minute, he got his uh, second yellow. But uh, we won 1-0, even with 10 men. Dimo Feta got the goal just after the hour. Not a lot else happened, really. Very, not a great deal of higher. That's only nine shots each. Only five shots in total on target. But, you know, we defended okay and Protter was kind of quiet. But, you know, we, we defend quite well. The fullbacks did well. Cherry got the assist. So, yeah, well, I think we did okay here. We won the win against Barry. I will take it. Against Lanciano, it was a bit more difficult, but we did get a win here. Uh, Lanciano did take the lead through at D... D... Joya? I don't know. I'm guessing there. D. Joya. Let's try that. Uh, <clears throat> and then uh, we equalised. Cherry breaking his dark and getting a goal just after the hour. And then Dimo Feta uh, made it 2-1 to uh, add a goal there. But then uh, just after that, uh, D. Joya got his at second and Lanciano's second. And Kozic at that point was at fault for both goals. He was rated 5.1, so I took him off for uh, Simic. And then 87th minute, Selva got the winner. Uh, got a 7.0 for him. And did really well. And we got a 3-2 win. Again, we had a bit more of the ball. Lanchina had twice as many shots as us. And more shots on target. And we defended awfully. But the change helped us. Simic did okay. Um, Durso is back in. And he's actually done very well. Botta did well. Uh, Dimo Feta. <coughs> Dimo Feta with a goal. Manala with an assist. So, yeah. Um, we got a win there. It was, it was difficult, though. Then we have this. A massive 5-3 defeat over Chisek. 5-3 win over Cesena. Uh, eight goals in this game. Cherry and Galliano scoring very early on. We were 2 0 up within six minutes. Uh, but then Juric uh, made it 2-1 on the 27th. And just before halftime, the equaliser came. Falcinelli, uh, in first half injury time, made it 2-2. Uh, and then Cesena scored uh, to make it 3-2. Uh, Falcinelli again. And it was five minutes after the restart. And I was getting a bit annoyed. We were losing 3-2. But... Uh, I had to make changes. Dimo Feta took a knock and we had to take him off. And we brought on um, um, Aramu, a uh, new player. I'll show you him very shortly. And um, yeah, we're look we were looking okay. You know, we we're still losing. But Dorso did amazingly in this game. Cherry got uh, two goals. Uh, he pulled it back to 3-3 uh, three, three on 61 minutes. And then... Last few minutes, Zanin in the 90th minute, he came on for Cherry, who, again, he picked up a knock. I think he's back, but he picked up a knock. Tommaso Zanin, I don't know if I've shown him before, but he got a goal. And then Zaparic, the defender, in the 94th minute, put it beyond any doubt and made it 5-3 in an incredible game. And I gutted that it wasn't a live come because it was really, really good. Zaparic and Nudin's doing well. Durso was magnificent. So, yeah, and Galliano as well with a goal and, assist, goal and an assist to his name. So, very pleasing performance and a huge win. Against Frosinone, though, uh, we drew 2 2. So, dropping points. Uh, Galliano scored about 45 seconds. I believe it was 48 seconds. So, yeah, good early start. 
Uh, Coda has been a four on our side though, and he scored two goals against us today. Half an hour in, he scored. Galliano doubled uh, his tally to make it 2-1 on 35 minutes. But four minutes from time, Coda added his second in the game to make it 2-2. Disappointing. Bigari wasn't great in goal. Not sure how good he actually is. He's kind of a short-term option. So I think next season, once we actually have more money to spend, we will get in a top goalkeeper and a really good goalkeeper. Hopefully, we'll be in Serie A at that time as well, and we can make a very good signing but yeah uh but you know i'm not too bothered about this we're, we're doing okay i think we're in third we stand as we stand we are in third place three wins one draw one defeat of course which was that live com hoping the curse doesn't hit us again today but we've got two very tough games as i said fiorentina at home and verona away uh i'm going to very quickly show you my new left midfielder i signed so here he is this is Mattia aramu uh, i was going to try and get slavicorn again because he was very cheap he was like thirty thousand pounds but he has gone somewhere else and I bug buggered up his wages. But this guy, at the moment, he doesn't look great. He looks, he, you know, he looks decent enough. He's got all the ideal stats. But he's got fantastic potential. He's four and a half star potential. He's 24, so there's still room to grow. All of his stats, you know, they're decent. Physicals, he's very well-rounded. He's got a fair bit of pace. And his determination and his leadership is very nice. Those 12 and 11s, though, they will increase with time. So I'm looking forward to seeing Aramu's development for us. And so far, he's played two games. Hasn't done a lot wrong, but he's got time to um, make improvements. Uh, a few more loans have been made, but other than that, not a lot else has happened. So against Fiorentina, they are playing a 4-2, 4-1-2, 1 sort of thing. And my roles have disappeared again. Why does it keep doing that? I don't know. But this is the team we're going to go with today. Um... I need to put Selva as an advanced forward, first of all. There we go. Okay, so um, Cherry is going to sit out this match. He is injured. Um, he's got a groin injury, so he's going to be out for a couple of weeks, which is a shame because he's our top scorer last season. And he's got three for me so far this season. But Galliano is doing very well. He's got four. Um, we're looking okay. We're not doing too badly at all. Kozic has been a bit suspect in defence. Uh, but he got a 6.8 last time. So we're going to keep the faith with him. But this is the team we're going to go with. Aramu gets gets a start today. Uh, Zanin's on the bench after his goal against uh, Cesena. So I think we're looking okay. And this team hopefully will do the job against Fiorentina. But because of how good they are, I've gone defensive. I've gone structured. Let's see if we can pull off an upset here. Uh, let's give the fans something to cheer. Let's try that. I'm not going to do any individual stuff. Let's just see how we do here. I'd love a win. That would be great. We don't win a lot of live comms, but to get one against Fiorentina, who are under unbeaten so far in the league, and were relegated from Serie A, that would be a great achievement, and a great way to um, boost our promotion hopes. But you've got to think, Fiorentina are favourites to get promoted, because they they're too good to be in Serie B, let's be honest here. They are too good to be in Serie B. But we've had upsets already this season. We won against Sampdoria in a friendly, and we knocked Udinese out of the Coppa Italia. So we have beaten Serie A opposition this season. Oh, and look, it's a neck injury for Christian Durso, because that's all we need, isn't it? Well, I think I need to take him off, because I don't want to risk neck injury. That could be serious. So we're going to get him off. Let's get him Protter on there. He had a very good sort of half season last season when we started playing him. Hopefully, he can keep it up here. But annoyingly, we've been forced into a change there. That's a shame. Hopefully, the injury to uh, the Durso isn't serious, because he's done well in the games he's played so far this season. After a loan spell last year... He's playing for us this season. Half time, it's nil nil. Uh, we are doing okay. We've kept them at bay, so um, keep it up. <clears throat> okay, not a bad team talk. Let's just jump straight into the second half. And I'm losing my voice. That's not ideal. That sorry. They've got a player called Juan Car. Now I know usually if I make jerks about players, they score against me. But his name's Juan Car. He's like the. Oh my. That's sorry. That is one of the best names I've ever seen. Galliano, you've got a six foot four, mate. What's going on? To uh, Aramu, the new left midfielder, as I said, new, new left winger. And he's keeping the ball here, finds Manala again. And here is Barlocco. Need some performances from him this season, please. And uh, that is a possible card for Hadji here. It is a straight red card, so can we take advantage now? Uh, I'm going to take it out of defensive because they've got, they're down to 10 now. That's a straight red card for uh, Hadji. Okay, so this is again Aramu with a pass to uh, Manala. And there is uh, Barlocko. Let's see this again. Uh, oh, he went wide at him. That is definitely a red. Okay, right. Let's try. Let, all right, I'm going to go attacking now because they've got that. That okay? They've changed very narrow. I mean, I'm exploiting the flanks because they've they've gone very very narrow. Okay, there we go. Right, and they've got an injury now as well. So 
we can really take advantage here. Look at them now. What are they doing? What have they done? Right. Uh, okay. I'm now going to exploit the right. I don't know what they're doing out there. In fact, 70 minutes. I'm going to make a double change because Galeano hasn't done much. So I'm going to get him off. Uh, let's get Zanin on there. Um, we'll have you... Should we have two advanced... No, not two advanced forwards. What am I doing? Let's try deep line forward. I don't use those reference. Let's try deep line forward. Improta hasn't done well, but he's a sub-sub. I don't want to, I don't want to sub-sub, really. Um, we'll leave it at that. Just the one change. No, I've made two changes, rather. Actually, probably a good thing I didn't make a double change. I forgot that I made that change earlier on. But Improta's not really impressed me so far today. Newlands with a throw in here, though. This could be a goal. Minala to Aramu. Passes out to Newlands. Get the cross, buddy. Go on. Selva. That's a goal. 1-0. Now, hold on. I want to go back defensive. And they've gone back to their very narrow formation again. Right. They've gone to a 4-2-2-2 now. So, we're exploiting both flanks again. But we're going to drop the line back to normal. 75 minutes left. We're beating the leaders, Fiorentina, who, before today, were unbeaten. And this is really, really nice. But they've got a three kick here, though. Don't do anything here. Oh, damn it. That was Mario Suarez. So, great. Uh, we were winning for a while, but they've equalised there. Right. I've got one more change to make. Make it a good one. Sabioni's going to come off because he's struggling. Um, Kofi Gate on. But a draw against Fiorentina, I think, is still very good. Bar locker. It's not over. Yes, it is over. I was about to say it's not over yet, but the full-time whistle blew. You didn't hear it because I don't have sounds on, but that's a good That's a good draw. So I'm happy with that. Very, very good. A bit disappointed we couldn't take advantage of the uh, of the extra man, but I'm happy with that. That's a very good, um, a good draw, a good point. Palmer denied by a late goal. Yes. Um... Fiorentina experience. Yeah, as I said, they should not be down here. Uh, Durso's got a neck injury, so he is going to miss just over a week of action. So that's a shame. But we've got options, so I think we're okay. Um, so we've got the Verona game coming up. Verona are down in 11th. Two wins, two draws, and two defeats for them. Sorry, burped. So hopefully we can uh, get some points against them. Uh, it's away, though, so it's going to be difficult. I think going defensive seems to work. And I've got philosophers now to play defensive football. So we're going to stick with it because it seems to be working. So maybe this is the key to playing well. Because <laughs> last season we weren't playing well. We didn't deserve to be anywhere near that promotion spots. And we blew it. But this defensive play seems to work. Okay, the second game against Verona. Now there's going to be some tired legs out there because there's only been three days between fixtures. So as you can see, there's a lot of 70s. Like, well, there's a 70 there because it's door so. So to get him off and get him proto on there. But you can see there's a lot of 80s out there. So Sabione is going to come off. Kofi Agui is going to come on. Please don't get sent off again. And Bot is going to come on for Manala. Uh, and we've got Perugia coming up. Um, we're going to get Aramu off as well. And get uh, Dimo Feta starting. Uh, Kupitz is back. So we'll drop him on there. So there we go. Um, stick with these uh, tactics. Because they seem to be working. So let's just jump straight into the second of today's games. Uh, and again, I'm going to go calm, give the fans something to cheer. Okay, not too bad. Um, well, yeah, just go again. And get a win this time, that would be even better. Okay, almost half an hour in. We've yet to have a shot yet, so I want to switch it up to counter, because we're not getting into their areas enough. So I'm going to switch it up to counter, and if it still fails, I'll have to ask them to push forward a bit. Because so far, we oh, we have had a shot now. We're having a lot of the ball, but we're doing very little with it. Okay, that is half-time. Verona, a lot of shots, but we've kept them at the bay, but we haven't shot enough ourselves. And Selva's on a 6.4, which isn't great. Um, I'm going to change Galliano to a Trecatista, and I'm going to... I'll leave it at that. I think, yeah, I'll leave it at that. Um, let's just go into the second half and just more of the same, please, because so far we've kept them at bay. Right, I want to ask them to push forward a bit, but I want to be cautious about it, so I'll do that. Push forward. Because, as you can see, a lot of those wide players are getting 6.4s and 6.5s for the strikers. Which isn't great. So, um, I feel like we need to improve out there. Yeah, I'm going to get Improtter on there. He hasn't really done a lot for me in, well, a game and a half now, pretty much. Let's get Kupitz on there. He's back from his injury. Hopefully, he can, he can keep it up. Because he's getting on a bit. I think he's 30. 29. So, um, and his, his uh, rating is at 3 stars now. Which, you shouldn't always judge a player by their rating, but... Three stars is about the time when I usually say, okay, can you cut it anymore? I'm not sure. 
Here is Zakanyi for Verona. Passes back to Ditakio. Here is Milinkovic. Of course, we know him well. Newlands with a good tackle there, but he's lost the ball there and wins it back. But he's passed it to the other player and Cherda has made it 1-0. That's a mistake by uh, no Newlands there. Not often I say that. So um, Newlands did well to win the ball there. It was a sliding tackle, really. It wasn't a misplaced pass. So I don't know what else he could have done about it. And Cherda's shot went in. But... We haven't really done lots so far. I'm going to make a change out there. Dimo Fett is going to come off. We'll get Aramu on there. I'm going to change up the wide play. And we're losing, so I've got to go attacking. And we're going to clear the ball to the flanks. I'm going to go a bit more direct. And push higher up. Nunes with a throw in here. Can he redeem himself? That's a nice ball by Zaparic. And Bleve will come a long way out of his area to claim that. Now, do something stupid, please. Please do something stupid. No, that was a very good long ball, actually. Tatakio and uh, they scored. Okay. <laughs> um, yeah, I was really hoping for a stupid error from that goal kick. Um, to be fair, it was a very good kick up, uh, kick up pitch. It went to Tatakio and that was a nice through ball. And that was an awful sliding tackle, Kozic. You are annoying me today. Yeah, not a great performance today. Um, and here comes another goal. Yeah, oh, God. It was a big area own goal. That's the second time he scored an own goal. Let me see this again. From a Milinkovic corner. Rozio with a header. I think it hit Zaparic and then hit Bigari in the back and went in. And it's 3-0. And we've got a highlight straight from kickoff here. This is awful. We've got a good point against Fiorentina, but Verona here have outplayed us. And yeah, it just hasn't really worked. Well, I think sort of going defensive at the start, it was okay. But I think it was a matter of time before they broke us. They've done that. And they're going to get a fourth here. No, they're not. 85 minutes. Uh, Cooper's on the ball here. We're 3-0 down, though. So there's not a lot else we can do. Get a late consolation and that's it. Here is Stefano Botta. Cooper's is there. Aramu's there. Has another shot. Rebounds in. It's a consolation goal. Aramu gets a goal. So that's nice to see. But uh, it's too little too late. Have I made any subs in this game? I've made what two. Oh, two. Okay. Uh, <laughs> I should probably make another change. Let's get Zanin on there. I've got a corner here. 88 minutes. We're 3-1 down. Here's Botter again. Aramu. Botter. Okay. It's cleared. But Barlako has it again. Here's Kozic. Agie to Selva. Aramu. Oh my god. It's 3-2. Oh my god. What the hell? It's right. Okay. Aramu's got two goals. There is about a minute left of normal time. I want to go overload. And highly structured... Are we going to get a late chance here? There's a throw in. There is a minute left. Sorry, I'm, I'm going to take more risks. I'm going route one. All that. Do we put sweeper keeper on? Here's DiBiase. Ted DiBiase. No way. Botter. A right move. Oh my god. No way. Zanin. No way. No. Oh. The run was okay, but he lost the ball. And there's 20 seconds left. It's, it's a corner. Is it? No, it's a goal kick. It came off you, you mug. Right, he's going to take all the time in the world over this goal kick. <laughs> it was a late burst, but... <laughs> oh, wow. Okay. I wasn't expecting that at all. If we'd have got a third goal there, I would have gone berserk. Like, good berserk. Not mad. Not bad berserk. I think that's okay. No. They're a good team, Verona. So I'm not too bothered about that, really. Um, <laughs> and two very late goals. I remind me with the brace sort of in the last few, last few minutes. <laughs> had me on the edge of my seat for a second there but it's a 3D defeat it's early days though as I keep saying you know these early stages of the season sort of wins and losses put put you sort of anywhere in the table so we're four points off of uh, Vicenza at the moment who are unbeaten so you know it's not the end of the world there's still miles to go Mastini win battle of Mark Antonio Bentegoli so, apparently this is some sort of derby, I don't know. Arama did very well, got two goals. His passing wasn't on par, and he didn't win any tackles, but his goals counted, so that's alright. But I think I'm, I'm very happy with what I've seen so far this season. Seven games played. Uh, we have lost two games, but they've been good losses. I think against um, Bresky, I don't think we deserve to lose. And I think we were very plucky against Verona. So, I'm very happy with that, how things are going at the moment. So, I'm going to call a team meeting, and I'm going to say uh, I've been, we've been playing really well lately. Oh, okay. Uh, I think pretty much everybody disagrees with us there. That has not worked. <laughs> that has not worked in the slightest. Oh, dearie me. I think we've been playing very well. We've just been unlucky to not get results.
see match performance. Fans are, well, they've been satisfied and disappointed, concerned against Verona, which is a bit bad. Kozic has been awful so far, but I think we've been, we've been playing okay. But that's just me. I guess the players don't agree, but then they're the ones out there kicking the balls and scoring the goals, aren't they? Scored two goals, so that's all right. So that's the end of the video. Uh, if you enjoyed it, please leave a like and leave in a comment you want to make. And if you want to see videos as and when it's up on YouTube, hit that subscribe button. Uh, I forgot to look at next time what we've got coming up. Um, so I think we'll be facing Albino, Leffy and Pizza next time because they are two teams that have been promoted from the Lega Pro, I believe. Yes, so two teams that... Well, we haven't seen Albino, Leffy in a while. Pizza, I don't think we've ever faced them. So going to be a bit different and against teams that are promoted you would think we're going to get some points there you know we've got to be favorites for both of those pizza are bottom and they've uh, not won a game yet so hopefully that will be that will be a, a win in our bag there but we will see uh, thank you for watching guys i will see you in the next video goodbye